Hello everyone. I welcome you all to topic decodified session of Analyst IAS. In this particular session, we will discuss about the topic India's biggest hyperscale data center, also called Yota D1. We will discuss this particular news in the following series. First, why it is in news, followed by about Yota D1, followed by prelims practice question. followed by mains practice question but before we start our discussion i want you all to be informed about various courses of analyst ias which are polity class which will start from 21st of november ethics class which will start from 5th of december and public administration course which will start for mains 2023 so you can enquire about any of the following course on the given number and you can also visit our official address that is in old rajendranagar market so now let's move on to our data topic of discussion and see why it is in news while inaugurating north india's first hyperscale data center yota d1 the chief minister of uttar pradesh explained that the state achieved the target of installing 250 megawatt of storage capacity with an investment of rupees 20000 crore within a year of launching its data center policy so this bring yota d1 into news now we will see about what is yota d1 yota d1 built at a cost of rupees 5000 crore is the country's biggest and up's first data center it is spread over an area of 3 lakh square feet at the upcoming data center park in greater noida uttar pradesh now we will discuss about the significance of this particular data center the data center will increase data storage capacity of the country which until now stood at 2% only despite the fact that 20% of the world's data is consumed by indians it is also expected to increase gross state domestic product also called gstp significantly while creating new avenues for investment and huge employment opportunities yota d1 features internet peering exchanges and direct fiber connectivity to and from global cloud operators making it extremely useful for global connectivity and yota d1 will be the first pillar of north india's 5g revolution india's data analytics industry is estimated to reach more than dollar 16 billion by 2025 therefore paying special attention to promoting investment in the data center infrastructure is a step in the right direction the presence of data park would allow big companies like google and twitter to have a data center for hosting processing and storing data with 5g and edge data centers rolled out from this center consumer will get easy access to videos and banking facilities at a fast pace so this was about the significance of this particular data center now we will discuss about the growth story of india's data industry first is the impact of covid 19 the current size of india data center industry is around us dollar 5.6 billion and the unprecedented covid 19 crisis propelled the data center business providing an unexpected tailwind technology adoption and digitalization across the sector were fast tracked globally and india also leapfrogged at least a decade in the past couple of years the lockdown and subsequent restriction became a massive catalyst for digitalization across the sector like banking education and shopping and this particular thing led to increased use of data consumption and internet bandwidth across the country 
The second is NIC data center. The National Information Center has set up state-of-art national data center at NIC headquarter in Delhi, Pune, Hyderabad, Bhubaneswar and 37 small data centers at various state capitals. The first data center was launched in Hyderabad in 2008 and these NDCs form one of the core of e-governance infrastructure in India by providing services to various e-governance initiatives undertaken by the government of India. And the foundation stone of the first NDC for Northeastern region was led by in Guwahati, Assam in February 2021. Now we will see the present and upcoming data centers. Currently, there are about 138 data centers across India with at least 57% of the current IT capacity being in Mumbai and Chennai. And the primary co-location data center areas in India is Mumbai with its location facing the west coast making it well connected to the Middle East and the Europe due to the multiple submarine cables landing there. The Indian DC or the data center industry capacity is expected to witness a five-fold increase involving investment of rupees 1.5 to 1.25 lakh crore in the next five years. Over 45 more data centers are planned to come up in India by the end of the year 2025. And in terms of the IT capacity, nearly 1015 megawatt that is over 69% of this plant new supply will come up in Mumbai and Chennai with 51% in Mumbai alone. And there is also an additional potential of nearly 2688 megawatt of future unplanned supply in India. The next is legal provision for the data centers. The Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology plans to introduce a national policy framework for the data center soon under which it plans to offer incentive worth up to rupees 15,000 crore. A draft data center policy was also introduced in 2020. However, some states like Tamil Nadu, Telangana, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal and Odisha have their own state data center policy. So this was about the growth story of data industry. Now we will see the way forward for this particular. But before that, we will also understand a very key important term that is data localization. The data localization simply means restriction, the flow of the data from one country to another. It means that the personal data of a country's resident should be processed and stored in that country only. As of now, much of the cross-border data transfer is governed by individual bilateral mutual legal assistance treaties, that is, MLATs. In India context, localization will make it mandatory for the companies collecting critical consumer data to store and process it in the data center present within India's border. And in 2018, based on the recommendation of Justice Shri Krishna Committee, the RBI mandated company to locally store and process sensitive data belonging to Indian user of various digital payment service. Until then, most data from India was being stored on a cloud database outside the country. So, this was about data localization. Now, we will see the way forward for these data centers and data localization. As India is poised to create up to $1 trillion of economy value from the digital economy by 2025, and North India is already preferred destination for Fortune 500 companies. Recognizing the region's potential and undeserved data center demand, continued investment in data center will lay a robust foundation for the digital India growth story. And companies worldwide are re-looking where they would 
like to re relocate and where do they want to manufacture, distribute and set up their database and technology facility. Data centers are currently a fulcrum for a lot of decision making, especially in Asia Pacific and India. And India has the potential for establishing new projects. However, this capacity must be judiciously released into the market to ensure price stability. And for India to becoming one of the major hubs of the data center, there is a need to bring down power cost as electricity is one of the major cost of running a data center. It is also great importance to ensure that such data centers use as much renewable energy as possible. So this was with regard to the way forward for this particular data center topic. Now we will move on toward our prelims practice question which says which of the following statement are correct regarding data localization. First statement is data localization means storing data within the border of a specific country where only the government has access to the data. Second statement is B and Shri Krishna committee recommended for data localization. Your options are A, one only, B, two only, C, both one and two, and D, none of the above. You have to pick up the correct statement and write it in comment box. I will answer this particular question in my next video. Now we will see yesterday's question which said which of the following country share a border with Black Sea? First, Turkey. Second, Greece. Third, Serbia. So the correct answer for this particular question is A. One only. That is Turkey. Now we will move on to our means practice question. Which says the Indian data localization wave is the latest digital battleground of ongoing power wars between government and industry. As the world way free global data flow against national security, what subject will be at stake with this? You have to answer this particular question in 250 word. Write your answer and send it to us on our WhatsApp number to get it reviewed. So this is all for today. Stay tuned with Analyst IAS to get further update. Thank you.